Good day everyone, my name is Nishan and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm here with this pretty quick Blender tutorial from Delta Transforms. So let's take a look at what we are going to cover in this tutorial. So first we're gonna learn how to create multiple duplicates with same animation. Then we're gonna learn about rotation with Delta Transforms. Then we will learn about how to set the origin point with Delta Transforms. And in the end, changes in animation with Delta Transforms. So let's get started. So here we have the plane in 3D viewport and I'm gonna create a flying animation from point A to point B. Select the plane, press I and select lock rod scale to mark the keyframe on timeline. Now move the timeline header to another frame and move the plane to point B. Now repeat the process and press I, mark the keyframe and there we go. Now I wanna create two more duplicates of the plane with same animational keyframes in a straight line. Select the plane, press Shift D, Shift D again. Now play the animation and duplicates came back to the first plane's animation path and that's the trouble. So here Delta Transforms gonna help us to create those duplicates with animation. First. We need to send these coordinates to Delta Transforms. So select the plane, press Ctrl A and select Animated Transforms to Deltas. You've noticed the color shift. Now create the duplicates. Press Shift D and Shift D again and press the spacebar. There we go. So let's just take a look from the ground camera angle. Perfect. You can also play with any other transform values than location, like bringing up the scale of the plane. Now let's talk about rotation with this another example of sad dish antenna. This sad dish antenna is keyframed for 360 degree rotation on the axis. And just like before, send the transform coordinates to delta transforms. Now creating two more duplicates and rotating the antenna differently for each. Now if you play the animation, you can see the rotation always gonna take the previously set value into account. There we go. Now let's talk about the setting up origin point with Delta Transforms. So here we have this queue with these changed transform values and if we apply these values by pressing Ctrl A, select all transforms. You can see the transform values change to default 111 and 000 but the origin point displays to world origin. So you need to set it back to the object by pressing right mouse button and set origin to geometry. There we have. But if you apply the transform once more, it will displace again. So here Delta Transforms help us to keep it steady. Simply send the location coordinates to Delta Transforms and now apply the transform and origin stays on its place. Even if you change the cube transforms and apply the transform again, Origin still gonna stay on its place. Awesome! Back to plane people! Wrapping up this tutorial with this final tip. As this plane is keyframed from point A to point B, suppose you have hundreds of keyframes for an animation and suddenly at some point you wanna lift up the plane's altitude by 100 meters. So select the plane Press G and move it on the Z axis by 100 meters. And it didn't work out because the animation is keyframed on the specific location. But you can spend few more hours to changing all the keyframes for this one small change. It's time consuming. In that case, use Delta Transforms. Go to Z location and change it to 100 meters. And there we go. Not only location, but change any other value you want. If you like the content, please like the video and share with your friends. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so then you don't miss any upcoming future videos. You can also follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Outstation. If you have something to say, feel free to leave it in the comment section. I will get to that as soon as I possibly can. So thanks for watching, stay safe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.